Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us, and today, June 7th, 2010, is a incredible day for all of us Apple fanboys. Anybody else who knows what a cell phone is, today matters. Today is, is a, uh, it's a landmark day. Today's the day that Steve Jobs hosted the annual WWDC, or World, Worldwide Developers Conference, in San Francisco, California. It began this morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I just killed my stream from the event, and I'm going to make the video now to recap uh, everything that I have seen from both uh, Engadget, thank you to Engadget, and MacRumorsLive.com. So uh, all the images that you see are uh, thanks to Engadget. Um, their link is down below, and once again, thanks. Uh, the keynote started off with Steve Jobs going up there, normal clothes, and uh, one of the first things they talked about was Farmville. Farmville is now on the iPad, as well as, uh, <clears throat> as, well as Guitar Hero and Netflix coming this summer. Uh, you know, just some updates about how many iPhones they've sold, um, Apple stores, all the, all the normal stuff they, they do in the beginning of the keynote. That went on for about 30 minutes. Uh, looks like iPhone is currently controlling 28% of the U.S. smartphone market, so uh, Android is pretty far behind at 9%. And honestly, when this phone is released uh, soon, I think that's going to go uh, even worse. Then Steve Jobs said he wanted to talk about the iPhone, and this is where everybody kind of perked up to listen to him. 2007, the iPhone reinvents the phone. 2008, the 3G and the App Store, huge. 2009, the 3GS was pretty quick. Not much more than that, it was just a lot faster. 2010, the largest leap since the original iPhone. Or the biggest, that's what Steve is, is claiming. What are they gonna call it? iPhone 4. They call it the iPhone 4, not the 4G, not the HD. I don't know if anybody guessed the iPhone 4. But nevertheless, it's pretty straightforward and definitely to the point. So uh, it's going to be called the iPhone 4. All new design. We've seen this. Uh, it was kind of funny. He said some of you may have seen this already, but you haven't seen it. Little uh, play on words there. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but it, it's pretty much what we've seen from Gizmodo. It's got a front-facing camera. It's got the microphone up top, as usual. Hold button, volume buttons on the side. Looks really nice. Big camera on the back. LED flash. Um, he w pretty much gave us a walk around of the device. There are screws still on the bottom, but they're nice looking screws. Apple knows how to screw. They've got nice speakers down there, 30 pin dot connector. Then they showed us the screen of the device. It doesn't look like it's a higher resolution display. It's 9.3 millimeters, which is 24% thinner than the 3GS. And that's good, because the 3GS was a bit bulky. That would put it uh, as, at the, as the thinnest smartphone produced. You've got your mute, volume up, volume down, and your hold button on your left. 30 pin connector on the bottom, as well as your beautiful screws and your speakers. Uh, front camera, receiver, and the home button there on the front. Um, camera LED flash on the back. There's two microphones, so hopefully this will compete uh, very well with the Nexus One. Sleep wake button, of course. And they actually brought up those seams that we saw and uh, hoped they would eliminate. Steve Jobs gave us a tour of the inside of the device. You've got a, look at the picture now, a um, I guess it's titanium of some sort, uh, case around it. And those seams separate the two parts, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPS on one part, and then the UMTS and GSM on the other side, which is pretty cool. All new design, thinnest smartphone ever, stainless steel, I should say, for strength. Integrated antennas, the glass is um, scratch resistance, and it actually, uh, they showed some pictures at the end, it, it bends a little bit, so hopefully it, uh, it will be better. Now the display they're going to use on this device is called the Retina display. It is very, very, very high quality. Look at the picture now. Normal display on the left, Retina display on the right. So you're going to get four times the pixel den den density, if I can talk right. And it's going to look a lot better. You have 326 pixels per inch. 300 is the limit of the eye, so it's comfortably over uh, how it's going to look. It's, it's really just going to be incredible. They showed, they showed some uh, high resolution uh, images. It just looks amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on this device. It's a three and a half inch display still. The resolution is now 960 by 640, which is four times. It looks incredible. As I said before, 326 pixels per inch, and that's an 800 to one contrast ratio, which is very good and four times better than the previous iPhone. Now that's gonna have 78% of the pixels on the iPad, and the iPad is a nine inch High resolution display. It's incredible. A4. Apple's going to use the A4 chip. How awesome is that? They didn't mention how they're going to clock it though. So I don't know if it's going to be at a gigahertz. They might underclock it to 600, 800. Who knows? And then they showed uh, two images of the inside of the device. The flash memory is very small. 
We'll touch on that real quick. You've got 16 gig and 32 gig. To my dismay, there's no 64 gigabyte size. Uh, inside you've got your radios. Uh, the, the battery is absolutely enormous. And they talked about the life. You get three hour, or seven hours of 3G talk, six hours of browsing 3G. You get 10 hours of browsing Wi-Fi, 10 hours video, 40 hours music, and 300 hours standby. So that is a little bit better than the current iPhone. Um, you get uh, N wireless, which is nice, GPS plus SL, I'm gonna guess that's how you say it. And then dual mic noise suppression, so that'll be very nice. Here's something I didn't think we'd expect. Three axis gyro, pitch, roll, and yaw. That's how you say it. Anyways, this is supposed to incredibly improve uh, rotation and uh, moving the device. Right now, it's excellent. I cannot wait to get my hands on my device. I will be purchasing the 32 gig. We'll get into prices in a moment to talk about that. So now you have the accelerometer, a compass, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, and a three axis gyroscope. So that's very cool. From there, they talked a little bit about the camera. It's a five megapixel camera on the back, backside illuminated sensor, five times digital zoom, tap to focus, along with LED flash. So that's gonna look really nice. Guess what? It's going to record in 720p video, 30 frames per second with tap to focus. And the LED flash can stay on, so that's very nice. Here's something else we didn't know. iMovie for iPhone, how cool is that? We're not gonna have iMovie for iPhone. It looks just like iMovie on, on your Mac, on iLife. You can uh, do pretty much everything. You can export in up to 720p. You can stop at 360 or 520p, save some power, save some space, um, all kinds of effects. It's gonna look really nice. I can't wait to get my hands on that. And uh, supposedly it's gonna be about five bucks, so that's gonna be awesome. They talked a little bit about OS4. I'll make another video about that. Folders, multitasking, we know that, we know that. Bing is going to be an option along with Yahoo, but Google's going to remain default, so that's good to see. Uh, they talked about iPhone OS 4, as I said. It's no longer called iPhone OS 4. It's iOS, iPhone, iPod, iPad, iOS 4, and the Gold Master Candidate is available today. Hopefully I'll have that by the end of the day, and we'll be talking about that momentarily. Another tent poll they talked about was iBooks. iBooks is now available on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Not really beneficial to me, I don't use it, but uh, nevertheless it's there. Also, you can use PDFs, which is not too beneficial to me, but I suppose that's good to have. They touched on iAds for a while, apparently that's pretty cool, I don't really care. Um, <laughs> now, for the one more thing announcement. They went on and on, and I'm glad they did it. iPhone now has, iPhone 4, um, between iPhone 4 and iPhone 4, uh, right now this year through the end of 2010, you can only do it over Wi-Fi, but that's video chat. And the video chat utilizes the front-facing camera, and it looked very good. They had some Wi-Fi problems at the event, so it was a little laggy, but it still looked incredible. And they're going to call that FaceTime. So I'm very impressed with everything. This I think this has been the best Apple Keynote so far. Zero setup required, portrait and landscape. Just really nice. It'll even do H.264, so pretty small. There's a white one. There's a black one. Looks pretty good. Look at the picture now. 16 gigabytes for 200 bucks. 32 gigabytes for 300 bucks. I will be getting the 32. Perfect, absolutely perfect. The only problem I have with this is uh, is there's no 64. And uh, that's not gonna stop me. You're gonna get six months early uh, from AT&T, so that's nice they're gonna do that. And then they're going to continue selling the iPhone 3GS 8 gig for 100 bucks. So that's kinda nice. The iPhone 4G, or the iPhone 4, I should say at this point, is available for pre-order on the 15th, which is a week from tomorrow on Tuesday. And then you can buy it starting Thursday, June 24th. So that's awesome. I'm very excited. I will definitely be purchasing the device. Um, the iPhone OS 4 will be available June 21st, and it will be free on everything, which has never happened before. So really great keynote. I'm really glad that uh, Apple has used the A4 technology. Um, really great event. Very happy I will be having my iPhone hopefully day one. Please check back for the unboxing video. Until then, my Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. My website is techinformed.us. And uh, every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus, we host our live web shows. So see you guys there or in tomorrow's video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to see all the new content coming up with the iPhone very soon.